I had a meal uh, two weeks ago here. You prepared this wild game dinner that was amazingly uh, good. It was smart, it was intelligent, it was very sexy, it was very creative. So you're one of the five rising chefs on Gallo for 2012. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's amazing. So now tell me. Amazing. You did a great job. So now Thank you so I want to know very rapidly how from you know being a you're a young chef, where do you get all these ideas to cook the way you're cooking? It's more of you know an artistic point of view and kind of what works well together and what's in season and you know it's kind of just whimsy and spur of the moment. And then you fell in love with cooking a long time ago with your grandma, yes. right? She's the yes. one who inspired you and then Yep. From, I'm sure your grandma was not cooking the way you're cooking. No, a little bit different. She was she was more southern. So, but I mean, it's still the the basics is there of you know pairing food together, things that go together, and just really good food with a lot of love and passion in it. So, give us a few sample of the pairing. Like you you put Uncle Bear with coffee beans with peanut with you know uh, uh, what what you, with venison. What, what where you get these pairings? Yeah, we did a lot of. Um, we wanted to go with uh, the animal's diet, so we did carrot with the rabbit, and then we wanted to do a play on Thai style. So we did coconut, carrot, panna cotta, baby carrots, you know, peanuts, and then the venison. Huckleberries go well, mustard goes well, you know, you need spicy, sweet, tangy. The coffee really brought a nice, like, bitter aspect, and I don't know, I, I just, it takes a lot of thought. So I mean, you've been planning. dreaming at night of cooking, yeah. right? That's yeah. what you, That's how you get it, your dreams. A lot of dreams, yeah. yeah. Wake up and scribble it down on a little notepad and. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you very Bye. much.